let's go ahead and hop into the good news for the day. RTX 30 graphics cards restocked and reloaded. Coming from WCCF Tech we, by Jason Wilson, who writes a lot of this stuff. He says, the NVIDIA RTX 30 series graphics cards are now restocked and reloaded as stated by the company today. The list of NVIDIA RTX 30 series graphics cards that are back in stock are the complete lines, including the 3090 Ti, the 3090, the 3080 Ti, the 3080, the 3070 Ti, the 3070, the 3060 Ti, the 3060, and of course the 3050. Also, NVIDIA features desktop systems from partnering manufacturers such as Digital Storm, NZXT, Main Gear, CyberPower, CyberPower uh, 3050, and then NZXT 3050 as well. So uh, those specific GPUs within each one of those units. Partner co partnering companies seeing NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series cards are EVGA, Zotac, Gigabyte, Asus, MSI, and PNY Technologies. Get the ultimate play with immersive ray tracing, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to read that. That's just basically going to be propaganda to get you to buy one if you're a gamer. Readers will be or will remember in August of 2021, we reported that the RTX 30 series of NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards were to be limited supply until September due to pandemic reg regulations. The drop was significant, limiting the stock of cards to almost 50% less for manufacturers. But 2022 has so far been positive. This month, Asus lowered the prices on all RTX 30 series cards in an aggressive strategy to acquire sales and persuade customers to their brand above one of their competitors. Now, all other manufacturers will have the same chance to lower prices, but nothing has been shown in the market yet. In a recent notification from one of our tipsters, EBGA has listed their available RTX 30 series cards and a large majority of the manufacturer's GPU are still relatively expensive. In addition to that, prices of graphics cards currently fall around 20 to 25% over MSRP and continue to drop, hinting at normalization by mid of 2022, which would prime, be prime time for the launch of the next generation graphics cards. The timing on this is interesting though, because it's almost like there's speculation for the merge mid 2022 would have been June or July, which was the f initial kind of expected move for the merge of Ethereum 2.0. If cryptocurrency mining is essentially one of the big contributors to the shortage, you would expect that normalization would actually be extended out a little bit further. The few months as stated by Tim Bako on Twitter for the merge and to line up with that. However, because they're still, you know, 20 to 25% over MSRP and people are still not sure what they're thinking about with, of course, the merge and if they want to continue to mine with GPUs, maybe it will stabilize by mid of 2022 and those that remain steadfast within the crypto mining scene, especially around GPUs, may get a significant advantage on pricing and availability here coming up. Now, I've already noticed Amazon has a ton of GPUs in stock. Best Buy is starting to keep a lot in stock. You can even go find some in sh on shelves at Best Buy. Micro centers are reportedly removing the one GPU limit every 30 days. And I'm getting various reports from, you, uh, from viewers just across the board. Depending on the micro center you have, that may or may not be true, but definitely go check out over there. And then hopefully, you know, we get rid of that 20 to 25% like boost in price here uh, shortly. But we also have some tweets, of course. We have one from MSI for the 3080 Ti. We have EVGA, the restocked and reloaded uh, uh, tweet from EVGA. Gigabyte Oris restocked as well. And so this is pretty much great news for stocking of GPUs. And then if the stock remains kind of in, uh, I suppose, like, remains in stock, right? And pushes out further. Hopefully we see the prices start to drop back down to MSRP. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. If you are looking at just upgrading for a gaming PC and you're fine with where you're at right now, then just continue on with what you're doing and wait and see if the pricing comes down. If you're mining, we get into that position of like, the idea that, you know, you're either going to be expanding or you're going to die off. 
and the the network gets very competitive i haven't been expanding enough therefore my revenue keeps just slowly ticking down further and further you'll see that today as well and i need to expand further uh, to make sure that we are basically uh, staying up to date with the ethereum hash rate or just the gpu hash rate in general this goes hand in hand of course with asic mining as well and hopefully we also start seeing similar uh, stock availability within ASIC miners, as well as the pricing coming down on those two, especially with the price of cryptocurrency and your potential ROIs getting pushed out further and further too. So there you go. Uh, it's great news in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as well as the live chat. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.